Excuse me, what? Yeah, that's right. We're going to do some furniture inspiration. I'm going to start doing some furniture inspiration um, videos on the channel. I've been doing some big building inspiration, but now I want to get down to what goes into the buildings. So, probably about every week, I'm going to release uh, a video just kind of detailing a bunch of furniture that you guys can do. Now, I am using a resource pack here. I'm using the new Walk Flows resource pack. Um, these couches do look good in the... Uh, in the original Minecraft texture pack, but I would definitely encourage you guys to go on and to download the Walk the World of Corrales Flows texture pack, the link of which will be in the description down below. Um, so I have, I think it's 22 couches here that I'm going to go over and I'm going to kind of just show you guys um, and hopefully you can get some inspiration from them. A lot of these couches, couches are actually modern couches, but they will also look good in a traditional house because if you remember... I kind of went over this in my first build video that I ever did um, for Minecraft. Uh, you can, it doesn't matter what the build is, you can put whatever furniture you want inside of that build. It's just like real life. So uh, take inspiration from this. Without further ado, let's go down the row. This is the first couch. Um, I think this is, what is this? This is diorite slab and stairs. It is super, super simple. A uh, little bit of a take on... I think it was Waffle. We saw it in Waffle's hotel. He did some couches like this, and I really like them because, I mean, well, they they look like couches. It's super simple. Um, in this resource pack, the diorite flows right into the stairs, and it is absolutely phenomenal and perfect. And again, this is all so this is all stuff you can do without world edit. I tried to just do super simple. Um, without world edit stuff that looks good in this resource pack as well but you could also do in your worlds um, by yourself so moving on down the line we have this one is snow so it's andesite stairs and um, snow the interesting thing about this snow is that you can stack it up as tall or as small as you wanted and we'll see a little bit more of this later on down the uh, down the line so as you noticed, in order to give it some some interest, some visual interest, I first of all used smooth andesite and just normal andesite stairs, and then I stacked the snow block so it was just one above the um, the stair. So one thing in Minecraft, it, it's all about giving visual interest, right? That doesn't look like it's that comfortable to sit on because maybe this is, looks higher than that, or maybe that's a cushion. It. What the. What the heck is going on out here? Yeah, that's right. Hey, you better walk away. Apparently, I didn't turn off mob spawning in my super flat world. So we have some visitors. Oh, look at that. Look at the beautiful little animals. Okay, sorry. So maybe those are cushions. You have to kind of envision that. Do you like how I got back on track there faster than anything? That's what's up. Moving on down the line again, you have another variation of this, this time with the diorite. Um, and then using playing with a different levels of the snow block you have one over here that's maybe a little bit higher maybe that's a pillow these ones are just a little bit lower again visual interest and it looks pretty cool if i do say so myself these are all l couches but you can do these in whatever um whatever configuration you want right you can break this and come over here and have it like this or i don't know like you can do some you can do absolutely whatever you want that actually looks that looks pretty cool i kind of wish i had made one like this for the uh for the build um, all right, it's not working. Whatever though, so you can do whatever, um, whatever you want to these things and make it look however you want. You do not have to do an L couch. You can even do a U couch. All right, moving on down the line. This one is actually one of my own design that I've used. Um, I'd like to do a video on my very first modern mansion. It's not that good, or not a mansion, but a house. It's not that good. Um, but it is my first one in the world of Kraus, so I might do a video on it, and this couch design is taken from there. What I like about it is it's using this design over here, right? Um, but I've changed it up a little bit. I love spruce. Spruce is just a nice warm color, and I think that just gives it a very, very kind of modern but homey feel. And then these end tables, which you can do yourself with any trapdoor and any texture pack, it looks like one of those end tables that just kind of slips under the couch right there and then hangs over the top. So when you're sitting here watching your TV, you can kind of, you know, you can have your remote right there. You can have your glass of iced tea or whatever you like to drink right there. 
And I thought that looked really cool, and it gives it some visual interest again, right? Breaks breaks up the traditional Minecraft right angles palette, right? So this one's a little bit more of a just super simple traditional um, or futuristic, not futuristic, but modern design. What I like about it is the back of it isn't um, just blocks. A lot of people will do, and I think we have one down the line, they'll do the stair design upside down and then just straight up blocks back there. But I tried, I, I didn't do that for this one, and I thought if you could actually come up, like along the back of the couch that it would look pretty good. The other thing that I like about this couch is the front of it, the cut sandstone slabs, it looks more like cushions. Not exactly across the top, but on the front of it, it actually looks like some couch cushions stuck in there. Again, super simple design. Um, one thing I, I like to try to do as well is I'll try to break up. This isn't exactly, this is more of a smooth texture. And then this one up here has some um, some rough cuts in it. You can kind of see that with all of these too. This is, this is a smooth texture and then this one's a little bit more um, busy. So try to do that in your builds. Um, unless it's the look you're going for is all smooth, right? Like this. This one's not exactly everybody's cup of tea, but I thought I'd put some stuff in here that didn't exactly fit with what you might do normally, or honestly, what looks good to you normally, because it might spark an idea in your head and you might take it and run with it. I said we were going to play a little bit more with the snow with the different levels, um, and we're going to start doing that. So here it's like a really low, sleek design. Maybe it's like a lounge area um, in front of a TV. You could even take this and build this up here and then like bring it out more. And it's like a like a rich person's lounge, right? Like I, I could envision this in like a rich person's living room in front of their in front of their TV and their big, super sleek, modern fireplace. But again, not everybody's cup of tea. Um, but I thought it was really cool and I really wanted to include it. You could do look at all the stuff you can do with these snow layers is just maddening. And that's kind of what's going to break it up too and make it look more livable and less Minecrafty. Dude, the sheep back there are just cracking me up right now. He's probably happy because I'm not using wool in any of these. So he's safe. Yeah, what's up, buddy? You're safe. You don't got to run away from me. You don't got to run away from me. Well, you know what? He's scared because all y'all keep killing him for his wool to make your really lame normal couches and i'm over here trying to help you out and save the sheep so save the sheep Peta. if you're watching this video uh i don't agree with everything you're doing but toss me some money toss you boy some money i'm saving some minecraft animals minecraft Peta, hit me up all right sorry for that plug-in shameless it was shameless i'm gonna move on down the line to uh, a little bit more of a traditional modern couch if you would say well not traditional, but using more traditional resources. So this is using quartz. Uh, in our texture pack, we have the smooth quartz. I don't even know what it looks like in the normal Minecraft uh, pack. But this is what it looks like here. And it's just different levels and depths. Over here, you have like a chase lounge. And over here, more of a normal couch. And what I could kind of envision in front of this is maybe somebody um, somebody has some, like, some stone. And they do, I don't know, like a like a little coffee table right in front of it. You know what I mean? Like something like something like that. Um, and that's kind of what I envision going on in front of a couch like this with their, you know, sitting there watching their super cool TV uh, with their super rich friends because only rich people can afford modern Minecraft furniture, right? No, I don't know. But it looks cool. And I thought it looks cool. So um, I guess the inspiration to take from this is don't be afraid to use different depths in the back. It gives it more of a of a visual interest and again you can you can see what it is that's a chase lounge and then just a normal couch part going over here we're kind of playing with that chase lounge too but it's more of a deep uh design sofa and then again over here we kind of left off the end just to give it a little bit more maybe the cushions wrapping around or whatever super simple design again but maybe you haven't thought of it like this moving on down this is actually um, one of my own designs. So I'm obsessed with mid-century modern for some reason. I don't know why. But I love mid-century modern. And I thought this was an awesome mid-century modern looking, maybe like actual like 50s or into 60s design couch. It's huge, I know, but it's awesome. So over here, we have the stripped spruce wood block. Which, if you saw my Waffle Hotel video with Spout, 
Uh, I love this stripped wood texture. It's so smooth looking, but it looks like it would actually go in a house. So we have that along the backside with this massive area over here, which is like, I don't know, dude, you could put anything over there and have it, um, have it look good. What I like to do a lot is use this coral and it looks kind of like a little, little bowl over there. And then you might have like a, I don't know, like an end rod lamp or something over there, right? Um, it's kind of sticking up on the side or something, right? Uh, and it looks it looks really cool and it looks really realistic and I don't know I like it and I thought it looked good look at that look at that look look at what we just did in two seconds more inspiration wham right in your face we took an end rod stuck a slab on top of it put a dead brain coral fan which I, looks like a bowl to me I don't know right there and look how much better that looks already it looks like it's in the house dude look at this thing I'm obsessed with this couch design um in the front, you have the snow block texture, different levels. It just makes it look really, like, oh, inviting. Like, you want to go sit on this couch, man. Uh, but you can't because it's in Minecraft. So, I mean, your Minecraft player. Well, no, they can't either. They can't even sit. So, basically, we're just going to look at the couches and, and pretend. We're just going to squat in the snow on the couch and not look creepy because that's just a really creepy kind of All right, moving on. We're going to get into a more simple um, design for the next two couches. This one, I just wanted to add it in there, but I wanted to encourage you to look at different blocks than just wool. You, So this one is, um, I don't know, it's very, this this looks like it could go in maybe like a, a, a gentleman's study or an office setting, maybe like a high-rise office. Uh, this could go in somebody somebody's office or the waiting room. Or what have you, you know what I mean? Like you could have, you could have some, some tables over here with like uh with magazines on top, or the dead brain coral, and then over here with we're gonna use the same design for the lamp, and then boom, it kind of looks like it could, dude, that actually looks really good. I actually really like that. Um, doesn't that kind of look like it could just be in an office setting with like two chairs right here? And right here, you know, let's let's build the chairs. We're going rogue, people. We're going rogue. So you could just do like super simple, maybe two smaller couches over here. So one thing to pay attention to with the stripped um, wood is where you're placing it and what you're placing it against. So you notice how these textures are different on the side. So you place it against the floor, it goes up and down. You place it against that block, it goes that way. And that block, it's running horizontally that way. So always pay attention to what you do. You can also play with that by, um, if you're doing maybe a bigger build, you can use that to your advantage by doing that. But we're just gonna build a couch. So we're just gonna do this thing thing. Um, we just have stone slabs, smack them in, smack them in. Boom, look at that. A little office waiting room in the middle would be like a coffee table dealio. And I probably wouldn't do stone, but you get the idea. So it looks pretty cool. Um, definitely looks like some dude, just some massive black glass clad skyscraper and you're at the top and you come in for your job interview and you're sitting down and you're just freaking out, man. And you're oh, she says, like, hey, you're ready to go back and you go back, but you forget you have to pee. And then you ate some Indian food and then you're and you fart and <sighs> it's not personal experience. All right, moving on down the line. This is another more traditional couch, but I combined some different textures, and then, <gasps> what? We have some pillows. They're banners, but they're pillows. So in order to achieve this look, and to keep the color in the banner, what you're going to do is you're going to break the floor down below, put a glowstone down there, smack your banner in, and whatever, mix up um, the direction that the banner's facing, so these aren't facing the exact same, they're not canted the same angle. Uh, do that so it looks a little bit more realistic, maybe a little bit more lived in. But you put that there, and then you just slap that on top. So if you don't put the um, the glowstone down, you won't get this same effect. So if you don't put the glowstone down, what's going to happen, just a second, is... What's going on? All right. So you don't put the glowstone down. 
what happens is you smack that down and bam it darkens it so you have to put the glowstone down before you put that in uh, or it'll look like poop so remember that inspiration colors and this is a great way if you have colors in the rest of your build say you have a painting somewhere um, do that and then when somebody's walking through your house doo -doo 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 -doo, and they're like whoa dude that's dope like yo get on HGTV get on my level put some colored throw pillows on your couches with some banners they're not really pillows if you go behind them you're like what is that but it's a pillow Minecraft style come in here there's a little bit more of a this one's kind of ugly I'm not gonna lie uh, maybe I should have like I don't know maybe I should have used this uh, whatever but it is a different design um, using the trap doors you can use um, blocks but the beds use the beds if you have world edit you can actually break the beds so um, you can have all of this side or all of this side's texture um, and you can have that all the way across but this is a different way to use something uh, to your advantage you can do this with benches uh, you can just you can actually just have a bed as a bench and then I don't know like put trap door back on or something right um, and have it look like really really good boom boom trap door and then that's it like that's that's a little bit of a bench and entryway whatever what have you a um, little bit of inspiration doesn't always look good in my longhouse video I did for my modern house I used the beds for my um, my couches and I thought it actually looked really good so you do it too because it'll look good and you'll be famous like me I'm not famous not yet but I will be moving on we have another bed um, couch that you can do yourself again with world edit you can make it all the same texture but why not do this it it looks it, it gives it some visual interest not everybody's into the beds because of the black um the black bed frame or i guess it's not black um in all the texture packs but the bed frame itself doesn't always match whatever you're trying to do but it looks good and it adds something you can definitely use the beds to your advantage and just like down here with the um color pillows you can have colored cushions and if you haven't dude look at if you have a build with say I don't know like you have some crazy build with some some cyan right you could do this I don't know do that maybe it looks like some pillows around the outside whatever like that actually okay that actually looks really good right there and if you have cyan elsewhere you could do that and then I don't even know can you can you place oh my goodness well no it doesn't look that good all right I thought we just got crazy with it but we didn't there you go this is the building process and you're just a part of that but again that looks really good and you can use it to add some color into your build don't be afraid to add some color into your builds um, and use these these techniques to do so so moving on down the line we have uh, well, uh, this one's a lot different than the other ones so I think this banner is actually supposed to be black but I've used signs this time and you can use signs to add arms and backs you can do it I'm gonna have a chair video in the future and we're gonna use a lot of signs for the chairs especially for dining room chairs and office chairs but this couch is just a, a lot different it's got a lot going on I've used um, blocks slabs stairs banners and signs again maybe not everybody's cup of tea but it's to get your minds thinking this actually looks like it could be maybe like a, a modern uh, day bed design or what have you but I thought it looked kind of cool uh, this one is almost completely different instead of blocks on the back I've actually used slabs um, and this again this one's really different but I thought it looked really cool and I thought it was nice to I, I wanted to highlight maybe some again some other stuff you could do uh, this one could actually also be maybe a bed too if you wanted to have a super just open um, minimalist maybe I don't know like brutalist concept for a house you could definitely do this design and dude again that different level of snow it's 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 whatever level slab you want it to be so it looks really cool down here this is a little bit different design just has some pillows around uh, I kind of pictured this for some reason in maybe like a modern uh, Asian style build maybe some um, what are the Japanese paper walls I can't remember what those are called but you could have those in the back with a tatami mat on the floor 
And I thought it actually fit that really well, but it's using the trap doors around the outside and it gives it just just a little bit less of a blocky feel and it, it, I don't know, it's more um, minimalist, maybe handcrafted by some old man in some village somewhere, he made this couch for you, but it looks really cool. Going on here, we are probably at the most minimalist couch on the list. This one was nice because it's just there. It doesn't add too much, but it doesn't take away too much from the room. If you're walking into the room and you had this and maybe another one, you just, I don't know, it, 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 maybe it would focus your eyes on the rest of the build. You can also add different things to that couch. Okay, again, moving on, we have another one using the trap doors, but it has the chase lounge and this maybe normal couch concept going on over here. I really like trying to play with different um, style blocks. It's really easy for us just to put the same you know, texture block together. When you have all of these options, and it doesn't necessarily make sense for real life, but for Minecraft, it makes a little bit of sense. So we have the smooth on the front, or the sandstone slab on the front, and then just the end stone brick stairs in the back. And it looks a little bit different, and it plays well with these um, excellent birch trap doors. So these are new birch trap doors to um, the version of walk flows that we're using. And Pick did an excellent job with those. I like that it's closed because you can do a ton more. You can actually build shelves and it's like, oh, that's a shelf because there's not a hole in it. It just makes so much more sense. You, you could do like a entertainment center with these and you're like, oh, that's the side of an entertainment center. And then do like doors make sense, cabinet doors. You do that. And like to show that it's a cabinet door, you do two of them open. And look at that. We're just going to build the whole thing right now. And then boom, you have like a you have a TV cabinet right in front of your um I guess it would have made more sense to use sand soap slabs. But this is a video and I'm doing it quick for you. Get over it. Oh, look at that. Dude, look at that thing. It's so cool. But coming on down here, what we've done is I've taken this couch design and I've slapped arms on it with a as a log, stripped spruce log. And it looks, dude, that is actually, I was surprised because getting down to the end of the line, I was like, oh, I don't know, like, what am I going to build? Like, I've done all these couch designs. I'm like, oh, my brain's pooping out. <clears throat> so I did that, and actually, I really like that couch. I really like how it turned out. Um, it's not really normal. You don't see a lot of people using the polished dior diorite slab, but it looks, it looks excellent right there. Um, it almost looks like a futon, doesn't it? You might be able to use this, this design with some different um, blocks to create maybe a futon look in like a bedroom or something. Coming on down here, I don't know how I feel about this, but I wanted to include it. I was trying to use different blocks, and I came upon the loom block. <clears throat> and I came upon the loom block, and I thought... That was crazy, so I wanted to use it. But I just put some trap doors on there, all the loom blocks, and this slab in the front. And I don't know, it might miss the mark completely. Maybe I should have used um, different different blocks back here. I don't, I don't know. But I thought it was kind of cool, and I wanted to include that to show that maybe use some different style blocks. You know, let's actually play with this for a second. And see if we can't get this thing looking like something awesome. New recipe unlocked. You guys have been part of something very, very cool here. Okay, so yeah, that doesn't look as bad, actually. I kind of like the loom block because, again, it's just visual interest. doesn't exactly make a whole lot of sense there, but it looks cool. Maybe it's like an old school. You know in the 60s how they like to put like speakers and record players and like every piece of furniture everywhere? Maybe that's what's going on here. I don't know, but it's cool, so use it. Right down here, I actually really like these two couch designs. So our last two couch designs were at the end of the wall. Um, but this one's just incorporating some more space to put some stuff on top. And again, it's keeping with the super simple design of the same um, texture, stairs, and slabs. And then you just have some stripped oak back there. Again, I love the stripped oak. You can use whatever block you want for almost any of these. Um, but you just put the decorations on there and it looks really good. And then moving on to the last one, I decided that I hadn't used really too many colors. And I really like um, this texture 
yellow concrete powder. So I like concrete powder a lot and I wanted to use it. And I thought yellow was kind of kind of cool because I hadn't really used yellow before. So I just paired it right here with the smooth sandstone slab and it kind of gave it a different vibe and a different look. Maybe this house has some, you know, some something else going on. Maybe I don't I don't even know where you would put a house like this. Um but it, I don't know. Maybe you have a big bright colored wall over here and you have this um yellow that's accenting it very well. Again, don't get caught up on the color of the block. You can really use any any block you want in there. What's what, what is this? Smooth stone. I don't know. That looks like crap. But you get you get the idea. So again, um, I just wanted to I wanted to throw some couch ideas out there. I wanted to get some updated um, furniture kind of video build inspirations out there because I noticed there isn't as many as there used to be. And I know if you guys are like me, you want there to be. So I wanted to throw it together. So definitely take these, um, take take some inspiration from them, incorporate them into your own builds. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see in the future. I'm gonna be throwing these out there like crazy. We're gonna do, we're gonna do chairs. We're gonna do tables. We're gonna do entertainment centers. We're gonna do light fixtures, um, floor lamps. We're gonna do all sorts of things. Beds. If you think about it, we're gonna do it. We might even do entire rooms and how to put entire rooms together, um, with different ideas for that and different styles. Kitchens, bedrooms, living rooms. Dude, all of these things are gonna be coming out in the future. So definitely subscribe to the channel and stay tuned. If there's something you'd like to see or something I did wrong or something you absolutely loved, let me know in the comments. Um, I mean, dude, thanks thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for supporting me. Uh, let's do this together, dude. Happy building.